welcome to my review of the Le Creuset enameled cast iron shallow fry pan. Um, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about this product um, and what are, in my opinion, the pros and cons of the product and ultimately whether or not I would recommend uh, someone to buy this. Um, so if any of that appeals to you, please keep watching. So I have the nine and three quarter inch shallow fry pan. Um, this also comes in an 11 inch, I believe. Um, I went with a smaller one just because it suits my needs a little bit better. Um, and also it's really heavy. Um, so uh, that's something to consider. Um, you know, it is a cast iron product, so it is quite heavy. This pan currently retails um, at William Sonoma for $144.95. Um, and I picked it up in the pink color. Um, I think it's worth saying um, I bought this in the store. Um, currently on the site, it says that there are 13 colors available for this pan. Um, but they only list uh, about eight or so colors on the site and pink is not one of them. So I'm not sure what's up there. I'm not sure if they still offer this color um, or if perhaps it's only available in store. So I want to talk a little bit about why I was attracted to this pan in the first place and why I ended up buying it. Um, I bought this probably about two years ago and I was in a place where I um, was looking to sort of invest in some nicer cookware and um, I needed a I wanted a non-stick pan uh, that was sort of like non-toxic um, I think this is a conversation that comes up a lot these days um, where you know people are trying to avoid sort of chemical coatings on um, on cookware um, and unfortunately, like, I think some of the best, uh, you know, nonstick cookware does have those sort of Teflon like coatings. Um, and I was, I was sort of looking for something, looking for an alternative to that. Um, I had tried a standard, uh, cast iron pan, um, and it just, it's not for me. Um, I think it's a little too fussy for me. Um, and this seemed like a good option for me. Um, it's, you know, a cast iron pan enameled on the outside and then a ceramic on the inside. It's a ceramic coating. I was also attracted to this product because it's, you know, that typical sort of beautiful Le Creuset aesthetic, which I really love. And um, it just looks really nice. I really love the design. It's simple. Um, it's pretty. I love the color and like even like all of the other colors are lovely as well, but I just like love the pink. Um, and I was really just, you know, attracted to the aesthetic of it. I also liked the idea of this pan because it's, you know, made out of really durable materials and I really felt like um, you know, getting a product like this is something I could use for a long time and then potentially pass down uh, when the time came uh, in my family. And I love the idea of that. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about the pros of the product. So like I've been saying, I think the aesthetic is a major pro. Um, I really love to see this have it out on the stove. I think it looks really nice. Um, sometimes I think if you leave cookware out um, on the stove, uh, it can look a little bit, make the kitchen look a little bit cluttered, but when this is out, I just, I, it, it really just like sparks joy. I really love it. Um, so I think that's a major pro. I would also say that I don't have to worry about this rusting and that is a major pro to me. It's a cast iron piece and usually with cast iron, uh, like I was saying before, um, you do have to be so mindful about, you know, making sure it's dry before you store it. Um, because they are so prone to rusting. Um, but because this is enameled and has ceramic on the inside, um, I don't need to worry about that with this piece. I can just kind of wash it. And I, I mean, I do make sure it's dry before I put it away, but I don't have to worry about it um, rusting. Um, I'll also say, um, so as I said, enameled on the outside, ceramic on the inside, you can see that there's sort of this exposed, what I'll call a a seam. Um, it is sort of like the raw kind of cast iron material, but
but it actually, I don't know if you can kind of see, it, it's got, I think it's got like a clear sort of uh, coating uh, on just that part. So that's, um, so that's not gonna rust. So those are my pros. And unfortunately that's pretty much for the pros. And um, I'm, I'm sad to say, um, I think for me, this product has more cons than pros. Um, and now I'm gonna talk a little bit about the things that I don't like about this product. So number one, um, and this might not be a con for everybody, but I find this uh, frying pan to be a little too shallow for my needs. Um, I know it's advertised as a shallow frying pan, and that's fair, um, but I just find when I, you know, when I use this, um, I'm usually, I'm vegan, so I'm usually using it for, um, you know, sauteing vegetables and stuff. And I really find like if, if the pan is any what overcrowded, um, you know, I have vegetables going overboard left and right. And that really doesn't work for me. Um, I think in general, um, sort of a higher walled pan is a little bit more useful and a little bit more versatile. Um, that's just my thoughts. I also find it to be just a little bit too heavy. Um, it's not a huge problem for me. Um, you know, cast iron is heavy and that comes with the territory. Um, so it's, you know, it's not the end of the world, but I would say um, it maybe does, you know, when, I, when it comes down to choosing a pan to cook with, um, it does put me off. So now the number one con of this pan, um, which is advertised as a non-stick, you know, ceramic coated pan. Um, I don't find that this is non-stick at all. And I've been really disappointed with it. You know, I spent a lot of money on this product and um, I have found that it is incredibly sticky. And because it's white too, like you can also just see everything that sticks to it and it just like it gets crusted on there and I end up having to like deep clean this after every use. Um, you know, I probably could get away with with not deep cleaning it every use, but it wouldn't look this pristine and white, um, which is I that's OK with me, but it really the amount of stuff that gets burned on here that I that I just like don't have to worry about with other pans is really absurd, especially for a product that's advertised as a nonstick pan. Another con um, that sort of I, again it sort of comes with the territory of sort of a ceramic uh, coated piece um, or like an enameled cast iron piece. You want to be mindful of um, you know the sort of cooking utensils that you use. Um, I try to use kind of only wooden spoons and stuff with this or like maybe like a silicone or like a rubberized tool um, because if you use metal it can actually um, sort of mess with the ceramic coating. You can end up kind of chipping it. Um, so that is something that you have to be mindful of when using this pan. As I mentioned before, this pan, I don't find it to be nonstick at all. I find when I cook with it, I need to use a a lot more oil, like significantly more oil, um, just to get stuff not to just burn onto the bottom of the pan. Um, and then everything I end up making is like soaked in oil and like, I'm not down for it. Maybe if any of you guys out there have, have this pan or have something similar um, or, or just more familiar with sort of cooking with a product like this, um, I would love to know what kind of tips you have, or maybe I'm doing something wrong, um, but I have to say I'm not the only one who uses this pan. Um, and you know, my boyfriend has sort of the same complaint with it. And it's really disappointing to have spent that much money on something and it's just not at all as advertised. So unfortunately, my overall thoughts on this product are that it's not worth the money. You know, it's almost $150 and it is really, again, I mean, it's, it is a really cute pan. I really like the way it looks, but if I'm honest, like filming this video is the most time I've spent with this pan since I first bought it and tried it out. Um, I, I rarely use it. I don't gravitate towards it. I have other pans that I prefer. 
Um, but it's just, it's sort of like just been a colossal disappointment for me. Um, so again, I'd love to know um, if anyone has any tips for me or, um, you know, anything that maybe I'm, I'm doing wrong. Um, and um, I hope this video was helpful to some of you out there who are maybe um, looking to buy uh, this, this frying pan. Um, I have to say, I, I am a vegan, so I'm not cooking meat or, you know, fish or anything. So I can't really speak to um, how this pan performs um, in that way. Um, but maybe some of you out there do. So again, please leave your comments and um, I'd love to answer any questions that you might have about it. But unfortunately, I think I'll probably be uh, looking to sell this piece. Um, which is, it's sort of like it guts me because it's just so cute, but um, I, I just don't use it. And I would rather put that money towards um, a, a nice piece that I use a lot. So thanks again for tuning in and stay tuned for more product reviews. And um, thanks again.